Hey, hey, hey guys, it's Ray here with you today. Today uh, we collected some trends over the Instagram, uh, which is bold and bright liners, cut crease and green lipstick. <laughs> I hope this look uh, is well tied together and you really like it. So if so, please stay with me and enjoy the video. start with uh, prepping our face with MAC Fix Plus Prep and Prime. So let's spray. You all know that I love trying out new things and today the new thing will be a uh, Maybelline Super Stay 24 Hours Foundation. Uh, it is a full coverage foundation. So I have big hopes and expectation for that one. Check it out! Let's zoom and reveal the secrets. The great thing about this foundation is um, that it is a glass bottle. It has a good pump. Let's try it on. Whoa, guys, that is a coverage. To me, I look a little bit pale, maybe I should go for a darker shade, but it covers so, 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 so heavy. <laughs> maybe it's not the most full coverage in the world, but it definitely does what it states to do. It feels comfortable now, I mean, it doesn't feel heavy and uh, it doesn't crease badly. It, it dries to matte full coverage which is pretty good at this point so so far so good uh, now let's move on to powder we'll use beloved mock 134 powder brush and my favorite mac press share powder in shade nw15 I'd like to put some little bit extra under my eyes because I'm expecting some fallout. Today I'm contouring with my sculpted face uh, by It Cosmetics. And of course, as you all know for now, uh, my Sonia Kashuk uh, large powder brush number 100. Let's try to fix this paleness. So the closer you are to the bristles, uh, the more intense the color will be. I'm taking very close to the bristles and kind of shaping them to get more dramatic, uh, more intense and sharp contour. And I'm going right under my cheekbone. So let's switch the brush. So uh, I'm getting a Sonia Cashet crease brush uh, from her uh, professional collection. These brushes are new for me. Uh, uh, I'm still trying it. We're still getting to know each other, but I do like it. Same shade, new brush. So the base is ready, now let's do our eyebrows. I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz for the brows. And my shade is medium brown. First I'm coming through my brow. Filling into the tip of the brow. So uh, the paleness that foundation gave me today reminded me about one fun thing. In the Middle Ages, it was so popular to be pale, like not healthy pale, not light skin tone, but as pale as they were sick or almost dead. What women did at that age, uh, they made this deadly mixture of vinegar and the white lead 
and put it all over their face to make themselves pale and it was so toxic and it was so dangerous that um, there were a lot of uh, little cases because of that. Not only women but later on men uh, started doing that and they even believed that eating chalk and <laughs> drinking iodine and staying out of the sun which was reasonable, <laughs> the only one reasonable thing, um, would make them pale and keep them pale. How crazy is that? Now we can put foundation on and boom, <laughs> we're done. Okay guys, uh, our eyebrows are done. My favorite part, eyeshadows. Uh, today I'm using Marc Jacobs palette, uh, the palette called Optic of Desire. Uh, and it contains both eye colors and the face colors. This palette, uh, beautiful indeed. I mean, the quality of the eyeshadows are buttery and they are so... They're between the butter and the cream. <laughs> I can't even explain how good is that. Uh, you totally have to feel that. There are two ranges of shades, the neutral ones and purple ones. So I will be using purple tones today. Oh, we forgot important step. Let's prep our leads with a Smashbox 24 hour photo finish. Just a little bit on my fingers, spread it on your eyelid and you are good to go. So I'm uh, getting my Sony Kashuk crease brush and for the entire lid uh, I will apply lights on. Violet hour. And uh, it will work as my transition shade. Love Marc Jacobs eyeshadows. They're of extreme quality. They are kind of jumping out of the palette and blends themselves on your eyes. That's exactly what the high price product is supposed to do. Next shade is gonna be uh, Twilight. So, and for the last, darkest and deepest and the most intense shade on this palette, we have In the Dark. Let's cut our crease with concealer. Uh, it's something, um, it's a product I'm also trying on. Um, pretty new, it's just my second or third time using it and it is Fit Me by Maybelline Concealer uh, in shade Fair number 15. I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand. I'm getting my MAC 195 concealer brush. Let's do the crease. So our crease is cut and now I'm going for my MAC, I hope it's 133, <laughs> it's oldie but goodie and the number there is a little bit kind of missing, I don't know, it's 203, 233, whatever, so it's just angled brush by MAC. So and I'm digging into the Urban Decay Electric Palette. I don't know why, it became my favorite once again, uh, maybe because it's so trendy to do the bright colors right now, and this one is really good for that. I'm going to be using a few colors right now, uh, we will start with the lightest one, uh, it will be Thrush. I will put it into the inner corners of my eyes and I will pull them a little bit further uh, to the middle of the eye. Now, let's move to free. Time to 
time for a fringe. And let's do the cows. As expected, we have a lot of fallout, so let's take our fan brush, MAC 207, get rid of that dust. So our next step uh, is to make our eyes pop even more. Uh, for that, I'm gonna use my MAC Cole Fascinating. So let's apply mascara. Today it's Bad Girl Ban uh, by Benefit. What I love about this mascara, it's so buildable and it's so dramatic. Uh, it makes our, my eyes pop, like pop huge. and. Um, I don't even need falsies, especially for this look. Since we need no falsies, uh, let's go to highlighter. For the highlighter, I'm using my NYX Love You So Mochi highlighting palette. And the shade I'm gonna use is gold right here. I'm taking my MAC 136 brush. So let's glow. Let's pop a little bit of blushes to breathe life into this look. And uh, the blushes are Muck Summer Rose. And the brush I'm gonna use is uh, 227 by It Cosmetics, the blush brush. Just lightly on the apples of my cheeks. Okay, uh, now my darlings, let's do the lips. And here is where everything gets pretty dramatic. I am applying Nick Cosmic Metals. But can you guess what the shade is? It's green. Ooh. <gasps> to make it little extra fun. I mean, can it be even funnier? However, it can. We'll put a little glitter in our lips. It gave it more life and now it is amazing. I hope you like it as much as I do. Let's set all this beauty here with MAC Fix Plus. Okay guys, uh, thank you so much for staying till the end of this video. I had so, so, so much fun. It was exciting, it was insane. I loved playing with the colors, with the glitters. I hope you enjoyed it as well. So in the comments down below, please let me know what was your favorite product for today's video. If you tried any of those, if not, just let me know what was your favorite part. If you want to see more videos of mine, subscribe, hit thumbs up, and don't forget about the notification bell because I will see you really soon in my next video. For now, mwah!